Thank you for calling Sound Warner Cable. This is Mrs. Cohen in Kansas City. How may I assist you today? Yes, uh, we're having problems with our cable box. Um, it's lines going through. I was wondering if it needed to be reset or something. I'll be happy to take a look at that so we can get that resolved for you. May I have some speaking with? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Okay. What's the address of where that's located? One one. Thank you. And you said um, it had lines through it? Yeah, it's like uh, reception, I guess that's what it is. Okay. And is that happening on more than one TV or just one in specific? Um, two. Okay, yeah. so both TVs are having an issue? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just one moment right here. And is that on any given channel that you end up turning to? Yes, every channel. And how long has that been happening? Just today. Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and send a signal to both boxes as well. Okay. And in just a moment, um, whichever one that you may be in front of, could you let me know when it turns off? Okay. Thanks. Now, I'm, um, why I'm actually kind of going over this as well, I show that you have premium channels as part of your package itself, but it's only on one box. I don't know if that was something that you didn't know or you intentionally just wanted on one box. No, I didn't. When you say premium channels, what are you referring to? Like your HBO, Showtime, and so forth. Oh, that could be on both boxes. Okay, okay. And there's no extra charge for that itself. I know sometimes if a person has kids in the home and they don't necessarily want them having access, if they don't want to put up a parental control, they may do that. So I just wanted to make sure, I'll make sure that that's added to your secondary. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know I know. I have one box that's HD and the other one's just regular cable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, well, it, it just went off now. Okay, good deal. And actually both boxes, even if you just have an H, um, it's a standard TV, both boxes are actually high definition. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did not know that. <laughs> yeah, especially with the whole house service itself. That way, if you happen to get one, you can always, if, if I don't know if it's, a, is it a high definition for the uh, second TV? Um, for one TV, not this one right okay. here. Okay. Yeah, so if you ever replace this, you know, that can actually um, just be able to access your high definition version. Too. Okay, thank uh, you. Mm -hmm. In just a moment, um, you should either see Please Wait Your TV Be Right With You or Cisco Initialize an Application Show Up on the TV screen. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And are you aware of... Mommy. Okay. Um, are you familiar with how to actually reboot the box as well? No. no. Okay. Um, I know a lot of people sometimes have the little inter the entertainment centers, which can sometimes range from small to huge. So I always really like to get both options on here when it comes down to it. One of the ways that you could do it is you can actually hold down the power button on the front of the cable box itself for about 45 seconds, and it will actually refresh the signal for you, doing the same thing that I did by sending a signal. Um, or, of course, you have the option to unplug it on there, whichever you find easiest for yourself. Usually with refreshing the signal, I always say, you know, maybe once a month, once every other month is something that's pretty good. Not that you have to, um, but I always say that that kind of keeps the signal up to date and fresh on there itself and keeps it within a uh, range it needs to be in. Or, of course, if you find yourself doing it more often than that, I would definitely say give us a call because you shouldn't have to. Right, right. I know this is the second time with this um, cable box right here. So, hmm, okay. so we've, been here, we've been here seven months, so. Oh, okay. Let's see. But it's launching this application now, so. Okay, it's great. Yep. And, of course, that's going to be going off shortly, and you'll see your box go through the OCAP, APP, and then start its countdown from either L11 or L8 on there. Right. That's what it's doing now. Okay, good deal. And then also, I know you have our internet service itself. And know, um, have you signed up for the My Service account or My Account online at all? No, I pay my bills online. Okay. Uh, every tenth or twelfth or whatever, uh, I pay them. But well, I, you, I was going to say, if you ever think about it, it, it offers a lot of different options. Of course, you have the option of looking at your bill and making payments on there. But beyond that. The same information that you use for that, if there's ever a case where you're traveling out of town and you want to be able to 
watch movies, you have Wi-Fi access, you can do your HBO on the go, Cinemax on the go, Showtime, and so forth. Oh, um, yeah. That same. I, try, I try to apply for that, but my, and then they say my user ID and password is not working. Okay, so you've actually gone to TWCKC.com, you click Correct. on my account and register for that? Yeah, and it's still not working. Okay. Well, that's something we can definitely look into itself because also if there's ever a case where you want to look for your, it'll tell you, um, you can actually go in there and look at your signals for your box and see if you have good signals and so forth on there. Um, it kind of does a little troubleshooting where it will allow it to send a signal from there as well. Okay. Um, and, of course, um, if you're away from home and you forget to record something, of course, it allows you to access your DVR and set your recording as well on there. So you get a lot of different options when you um, actually sign up for it. Great. It's quite easy. Well, know how to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, right now it will have to go through our internet department. They can actually reset it. Okay. And then they can allow you kind of start from scratch on there. Okay. Well, I think I thought um, if you go to the website and you actually do forget it, though, it says forgot username or forgot password. Have you ever tried that option as well? Yeah, and it's still um, still same it gives thing. Me, it gives me my thing, but it doesn't work, and I'm like, wow. Hmm. Yeah, it should definitely work. I know I use it myself on there, so. Right, and that's what I was. I had it on. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to get to get that taken care of itself because, uh, like I said, that gives you a lot of mobile options, should I say, on there itself, and it's definitely nice. Right. Um, what number is that box currently on at this time? L one. Okay. Good deal. And of course, once you see the time on the box, if you don't mind, can you go ahead and turn the power in the box back on for me, please? Yes, ma'am. Thanks. Alrighty. Okay. Let's turn the power box back on. Okay. And if you can go ahead and try different channels and tell me if you end up coming up with the same thing or if it's different now. Okay, that's what I'm looking at right now. We are good now. Alrighty, that means you should be able to get to go on there itself. And then do you want to check your other box real quick at all? Sure. Alrighty, good deal. And then also, one last thing before I do let you go, I know you originally signed up for the package that you currently have right now. That same package actually, um, pricing is the same and everything, but actually has one more premium channel, which is the last one that you don't have, STARS, available. Would you like to add that to the account and extend the package out until April of next year? And how much is it? It's the same price. It's not changing your price at all. The only thing you're doing is gaining the channel, and, and beyond just gaining the channel, you're also extending out the same exact rate that you have right now until April. Not that there's any contract or anything like that. You're still never obligated itself, but it extends your rate out until April of next year versus expiring in um, November of this year. Okay. So that would be great. Okay. So that will give you access to channels 675 to 683, and of course, Stars is also one of those um, on-the-go ones where it's called Stars, Stars Play that you can actually access while you're away as well. So you should have access to those. If you, I'm not going to have you. I'm going to have you try it if you don't mind in just a second. I always want to make sure things are working properly, and then we can go ahead and if you have time, we can get that uh, my services reset for you. Okay. Alrighty. So. Alrighty. So 75 would be the stars on demand. Do you mind going to that and see if it's working? Yes, we're good. 
All right, good deal. And now I'll go ahead and get you over so we can get that my services reset, and then you should be good to go. Okay. One moment, thanks.